Jonathan Lee Riches investigates more testimony in the Lori Vallow Daybell trial. This time, April Raymond takes the stand. And April Raymond is an individual that Lori Vallow Daybell and her daughter, Tylee, stayed with in Hawaii, February of 2019. I want you to listen to her testimony and then we will further discuss. Check it out. Um, did there come a time where the Vallows moved from Hawaii? Yes. Did you maintain your relationship with um, the uh, defendant and her family? To an extent, yes. Okay. What do you mean to an extent? Um, I mean, we would stay in touch through phone calls or texts and then an occasional visit. Okay. Um, did one such a visit occur in um, early winter, uh, um, late winter, early spring of 2019? Yes. Do you remember when that visit was? I do. It was February of 2019. Okay. And uh, it was the weekend before Valentine's Day. Okay. How did that visit um, occur? Was it a planned visit? No, it was a very unexpected one. All right. Can you tell us about that visit? Uh, I received a call from Lori that she and Tylee had landed in Kauai. Um, she said that she was leaving Charles, had a lot to tell me. Um, they were checking into their hotel and that um, we would talk later. Okay. And did you talk later? We did. All right. How did that happen? Um, she reached out to me. Uh, they needed a place to stay. I offered my home as an option. And uh, her and Tylee came to stay with me the following day. All right. Um, did you have a chance to talk to her about her situation uh, back home? Yes. And when I say back home in February of 2019, where did you understand from the de uh, defendant, Lori Vallow, that she was living? In Arizona. Okay. Did she talk to you about what was going on in her home in Arizona? Uh, yes. She said that a lot had changed. Um, she said that her and Charles were going to be getting divorced, that Charles had had an affair. And then the conversation changed to where Charles wasn't Charles, that Charles was a demon named Ned Snyder. And the conversation just kind of evolved from there. Okay. So let, there, there's a lot in that answer. So let me make sure I understand. Um, you had a conversation that they were getting separated or they were divorcing? Initially, yes. Okay. Who Now, who was visiting with Lori Vallow when she was at your home at this time? Tylee was with okay. her. Where was JJ? JJ was with Charles, was my understanding. Okay. And um, did the defendant say why she didn't bring JJ? Uh, she said that she was done with JJ and that Charles and his sister Kay would need to figure it out. Okay. Um, and what did you understand that meant done with JJ meant? Taken into the context of she's going through a divorce, I took it to mean that if they went through a divorce that Tylee would go with Lori and uh, Charles would take on the responsibility of JJ exclusively was my understanding. Okay. Um, and during this, you also mentioned that um, she talked about um, that Charles was no longer Charles. Yes. All right. Um, what did she say about that? In terms of... When she said Charles was no longer Charles, how was that connected to her talking about so, separating from Charles? Sure. Um, so she had said that Charles was already dead and that there was a demon living inside him and kind of using his body as a host um, and that the demon's name was Ned Snyder. Did you follow up on that? Um, did she give you any sort of evidence of this? Um, when I asked, how do you know that it's not Charles? She said, because he's shorter. So April Raymond testifies. Lori says she's done with JJ? What does that mean? She also said that she was, Lori was divorcing Charles Vallow because Lori claims he was having an affair on her and Charles Vallow is a demon by the name of Ned. That is a prosecution witness that you just heard April Raymond describing Lori Vallow Daybell and what Lori Vallow Daybell told her. What's your thoughts on that? I find, um, I personally find April very credible. I, I find 
all of the witnesses that are testifying at the Lori Valadebault trial thus far credible. Haven't heard any defense cross-examinating, cross-examination these witnesses. I haven't heard any gotcha moments where the defense has caught these witnesses so far lying or saying something, you know, catching them with something that's not true. I haven't heard it. I have, matter of fact, I haven't really heard much cross-examination from the defense of, on, on any of these witnesses, starting from day one. JJ's grandmother and the detectives. What's your thoughts on the trial? It looks like the prosecution is laying down a foundation to convict Lori Valadebo. They're bringing in SSI agents. They're bringing in detectives. They're bringing in authorities from Arizona. Uh, uh, Brandon, the man that was shot at. Uh, in October 2019, he testified, former friends, they're building a case. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the defense brings as a defense. So I am covering this case. I was at the courthouse first week of the trial. I might just go back. So stay tuned. I might go back. This case is not being broadcasted. Therefore, you need to be, de you know, uh, if in order to follow this case, you have to be um you have to follow like YouTubers or media outlet people or spectators that are there to give you an idea of what's going on. I get audio clips daily from the court of what transpired in court. So I will share all of that with you. Certain clips, certain important information, certain testimony. So if you want in-depth coverage, cover my channel and check out my Lori Vallow Daybell playlist. We'll talk soon. Will Lori Vallow Daybell, will Lori Vallow Daybell take the stand in her defense. Do you think she should? We'll talk soon. Stay tuned.